result of one cold caller is two leads a day. So if they come in with two leads a day times five, that's 10 leads a week. If you have two cold callers, that's 20 leads a week, right? So once you get that 20 leads a week, how many of those should end up in prospects? Which we go from a lead to they qualify them at the at the lead gens, at the lead manager position to four pillars of motivation. If they have that, then they move into what we call a prospect. Which four pillars are condition, timeline, motivation, and price. Yep. And so at that point, how many of those are coming to be prospects per week? So what should my lead manager be giving me? You know what I'm saying? So if you got 20 leads a week, you need to have at least 50 percent of those yep. going up to be prospects. The acquisitions. They going Which up to closers. Yeah, exactly. That's going to acquisitions. So that acquisition rep is working 10 leads a week at the very least on top of all of the follow ups that become out of this. So like they working on those 10 leads, but then they have like, <laughs> you know, 20 something. Y'all can't tell us we don't know what the fuck we talking about man i don't never ever ever exactly. never ever never ever 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 want to hear that shit exactly so the reason why you why we say oh okay at thirty thousand, go get a new acquisition rep and because they can't handle the number of new leads plus the follow-up leads once you go past that twenty thousand dollars